And like all of our local school district CPS administrators, they are dealing with a shortage of available substitute teachers. It is actually one of the top challenges to keeping kids in the classroom right now. And recently, a CPS board member noticed problems with the system used to apply to be a sub in the district. In a story now, you'll see only right here on Local 12. Our Courtney Whedon uncovers just some of the issues that board member discovered. Dr. Kareem Moffitt is a new Cincinnati Public School Board member. She noticed a lot of people on social media express concerns about the district's process to become a sub, so she started asking questions. We did find that there were some holes in people had applied to the Department of Ed but not the district, and that people had applied to the district but not finished their certification with the Ohio Department of Education. And then we did find that some sometimes we had just kind of had a lag and people got sit down in the abyss. That led her to Dr. Ross Terpo, the district's director of talent and staffing, who says the district has a dire need for subs. What we're looking to have people on our roster that we can send out at any time to fill those vacancies. So projecting that is tough. So we just want to continue to hire. To be a sub in Ohio, you typically need a bachelor's degree. But because of the pandemic, you can get a one year temporary non bachelor substitute teaching license. What CPS has done is to implement um, an associate's degree and 40 or 48 hours semester hours um, towards a degree. If you want to apply to be a substitute teacher, you need to first complete an application for a specific position on CPS's website. The district will waive the $50 fee for a background check. You then need to also apply for a substitute license with the Ohio Department of Education. Then wait to hear back from the district. We have put two dedicated staff members that are just dealing with subs. So they're processing, they're doing the screening interviews. So I understand being confused about applications, but there were a couple times where it seemed like people just fell through the cracks. What are you doing to address those issues? We created a substitute hotline. So once you apply, if you feel that you have not heard timely from the district, we've created a phone number that you can call and find out the status of your application, and we'd be happy to move it along the process. Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News. All right, so right now there are two types of sub positions available at CPS. There's what is known as a super sub, someone who works five days a week in a specific building and also gets benefits. Or there's also a daily sub who has more flexible, uh, more flexible schedule and goes where they are needed. Again, the hotline number for checking on your application, that's 513-363-0160. We have that number and more specifics for applying to be a CPS sub. Inside Courtney's story, as always, you can find that at Local 12. Com. Hopefully this will help and get more people out there keeping yes, the schools indeed. open.